If you want to run simple but effective ads for Amazon KDP, watch this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up auto ads. They are a fantastic way to set up advertising campaigns with little or no experience, but they also offer so much more than that. They're a great way to run advertising campaigns without the need to do any prior research because what they'll do is they'll cast a wide net and they'll run where they perform well. So that means no need to do prior research, no need to set up your manual ads, and that means that they're a fantastic option for all experience levels. So how they work. Auto ads will utilize the data within your book. So that is your title, your description, your keywords, all the metadata that's there you know, within your book published on Amazon, the auto ad will extract all of that and that will be its base for serving ads. So this clever technology can save a ton of time and actually provide you with really good keywords and products to target. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set up an auto ad and it really is quite simple, but there are a few tips and tricks I can share with you along the way. So if we come onto Amazon ads, all we need to do is click this create campaign button. Then you've got your sponsored products or your sponsored brands. And so the auto ads we're gonna set up today are the sponsored products section. That means you're basically advertising one or multiple books rather than your brand. Now on the US dashboard, you've got the option to include some custom text, which can be really useful. But for now, just to show you how it works, I'm gonna do a standard ad. You might want to use the custom text option if you want an extra little bit of space to sell your book. So we are gonna set up an auto ad for one of my coloring books. So the first thing you need to do is give your ad group a name, then you come down to your products and you find your book and click add. Now you could do multiple books, but if you're doing that with an auto ad, make sure they're quite similar because you don't wanna be advertising say a coloring book for kids and an activity book for adults because the data that it extrapolates, it won't really mesh that well. So you want to either include one book or multiple books that are very similar. Once you've selected your books, you scroll down and then you just leave it on automatic targeting. So this is the space where if you wanted to do manual targeting and enter your own keywords and products to target, you just click manual targeting. But for this one, we're leaving it on automatic and we scroll down. So now in your targeting, you've got this set default bid option. Now you might not know what to set that as and Amazon does give you a guide and I'd say, you know, use that as a benchmark, but you might need to test your own bids and see what works for you. So for this coloring book, I'm gonna set a default bid for 41 cents. So even though it says 23 cents there, I know from my experience, it generally costs a little bit more to get clicks for this ad. But what you can do is you can set bids by targeting group. And so I would highly advise you to do this. And that's because this close match section is the most powerful within this auto ad. So it says here, we'll show you ads to shoppers who use search terms closely related to your products. And that's the main thing that we want to be doing with these auto ads. We want to find those effective keywords. So for the close match, I don't mind spending a little bit more. Whereas the loose match, if we look here, it says we'll show your ads to shoppers who use search terms loosely related to your products. So for my coloring book, for example, the close match might be minimalist coloring book for adults whereas the loose match might just be coloring books for adults. And so it's a lot harder to break through and rank for those kind of looser search terms. So I'm not gonna bid quite as much on the loose match. The substitutes and complements are similar to your product targeting. So it says here, we'll show your ads to shoppers who use detail pages of products similar to yours. So your book might appear underneath other coloring books, for example. So I don't wanna bid too high on those, so I'm just gonna keep those at 15 cents. And what you might find is some of these will serve, some of them might not serve. And if that's the case, you can come back into your ad and just up it by one or two cents to see if you can then gain some impressions. Scrolling down, if your book is highly targeted, you might want to enter some negative keywords. So for example, if your book is a book for adults, you might wanna enter book for children in the negative keyword targeting. That way you're giving Amazon a little bit more data to start those auto ads off in the right way. So I'm gonna enter a coloring book for kids in here because I don't want to be targeting that term. And also because I know bold and easy coloring books are a very competitive niche, 
I'm going to enter that as a keyword to not target there as well. So if you're just getting going, don't worry too much about the negative targeting. It can just help your ads to be a little bit more targeted from the beginning. But you can always come back and add negative keywords later. Scrolling down to the negative products, this is if you don't want your book to be appearing on a certain listing. So generally, I leave that blank. But if my auto ad's been running for a while and I'm getting a lot of clicks and no orders on a certain product, I can just add that in here. And that's how easy it is to set up these auto campaigns. So we're just gonna finish this off. You've got the campaign bidding strategy. And so you've got the up and down, down only or fixed bids. I tend to do the down only bids. That means the maximum it's gonna bid is the bid that I set it at earlier. Whereas if you did the up and down, it could double the bid that you set. And then you can also adjust your bid. So I like to increase my top of search here because that's where the majority of people are gonna see and then buy your book. The power of appearing at the top of search for a keyword is so powerful. And so I don't mind increasing my bid when the ad serves there. So I'm gonna increase my bid there by 10%. So how that works is instead of bidding 41 cents to appear at the top of search, it's gonna add 10% on that so it'll actually bid up to 45, 46 cents. Then you can increase the rest of search or your product pages if you want. Scrolling down, you need to give your campaign a name. This is for your use. When you're scrolling through your dashboard, this is there so you can kind of like see straight away what it is. And it makes it easy for you to reference. So you wanna make sure that you've got enough information in there that you know what it is. You can add it to a portfolio if you want to. And then you put your start and your end date. So the start date I tend to just leave as today. And then you wanna give it at least a few months. And that's because with the auto ads, it'll take time to find the data and start serving in the correct way. So I'm gonna give it until the end of August, that's six months, and then I'm gonna give it a daily budget. So Amazon will give a suggested daily budget here at the bottom, but you can put as much as you're willing to spend. Now, Amazon might not spend the whole of this budget, but just keep an eye on it and make sure that you're not spending too much money for you. So I'm gonna put a daily budget of $10. Then you click launch campaign. And that's how easy it is to launch an auto ad. Now, absolutely anyone can do this. Doesn't matter how much experience you've got with Amazon ads. As long as you can just follow this tutorial, you can launch auto ads for your book. But that's not where the power of these auto ads end. That's just the beginning. And that's because once it starts serving, it's gonna get loads of data. And that data is so important and we can utilize that to either adjust these auto ads or to create our own manual ads. And so I'm gonna show you an example of one of my auto ads which is performing well, and I'll show you how you can look at the data and how you can utilize it. So this is an auto ad that I've been running for over a year now, and you can see that it's driven 1,627 clicks and 88 orders at 17.83% ACoS, which is absolutely fantastic and very profitable for these books. So this auto ad's got a few books in there, but they're very, very similar. So it's the same sort of thing as just having one book in there. So if we click the targeting tab, you can see all of the different types of targeting groups. So as I mentioned, this is the close match, the loose match, and then the substitutes and complements. And then you can see here how all of them are performing. And so even though the close match is at a slightly higher ACoS than the others, the power of getting sales through keywords I think it warrants a slightly higher ACoS because that's gonna help you to get organic sales in the long term. So as long as that ACoS isn't too high, I'm happy to keep that going. And so now I'm gonna show you how you can look at the data. So if you click this search terms button, and then let's go to the last 65 days, we can see all of the information for this auto ad. So if I rank it by orders, we can see which keywords and which products are serving the best for us. So this creepy coloring book here is getting three sales from 16 clicks, which is really good. And so if I was to create a manual keyword ad, that would be a search term that I could add in my manual keyword ad, because I know from this auto ad that it's performing quite well. And then scrolling down, you've got products that I'm targeting here. So that would be the substitutes and complements. And you can see here, I'm getting orders through those. Another keyword here, color books for adults horror. That might not be a keyword that I would have targeted myself manually, 
So that's a new keyword that this auto ad has found for me. And then once you've got some data, once these auto ads have started serving, you can adjust your auto ads as well. So let's say this search term here, you know, it's not working very well for us. We can copy and paste this keyword, go to negative targeting, and we can add this as a negative keyword because we know it's not performing very well. So that means that this auto ad is not gonna target that keyword string now. And that's what you can do. You know, if there's a few things that aren't performing quite as well, you can add them as negative targeting. And then the likelihood is that your auto ad is gonna perform a little bit better. So whether you're looking to target a wide audience, you know, cast a wider net, or whether you're just getting going on Amazon, auto ads are a fantastic tool. They're a great way for self-publishers to extract a ton of data over time. And as you just saw from that ad there as well, they can just be directly profitable and you can just keep them going. If you've ran auto ads as well for your books, drop a comment down below and let us all know how you've got on. So that's it for this video. Make sure to click that like and subscribe button. Let us all know how your ads are going and I'll see you in the next one.